Well, hello there, my name is Vladimir, welcome to my home studio. Today is a video that I've been waiting to do for a month <laughs> because I didn't want to open the package and kind of ruin my initial reactions to this. We are taking a look at chicken picks. I have a variety pack here and I'm going to go through all of them and see which one I like the most and also give you my initial reactions to chicken picks in general. So honestly, I don't know anything about the company besides the fact that uh, Henning uses them. He says he likes them a lot and they are pretty expensive per piece and apparently they're made from some mysterious material. Uh, I'm just going to read what it says on the package because I think it's actually kind of quite fun. The thickness and the texture make it easy to hold, avoid the need to grip too firmly the result, less hand fatigue, less string breakage, big slippage, making it easier to focus on the nuances of your playing. The material is much harder than all other plastics, avoiding chipped edges and ensuring longer time and playability. The greater mass creates more tone. <laughs> There's also a fun note. Chicken picks guitar picks are made in Belgium and Germany, free from child labor. They are hand finished and packed by people in sheltered in sheltered employment in the Netherlands. Thanks for caring. Yeah, <laughs> so that's a thing. Yeah, let's open up the pack. By the way, this is my cat pick. This is what I play nowadays. And also please excuse the cat hair on the pick cam. Uh, anyone who owns cats or dogs or anything like that, you know that it's just impossible to get rid of all of them. This is as the clean as I can make this chair look. Okay, so let's open this up. Uh, if this takes very long time, I'm just going to speed this up. No, I think I opened it. Yes, I did. All right. So disclaimer, this isn't 100% initial reaction because I stumbled upon Henning at NAMM doing a chicken pick video and he said, hey, hey Vlad, come here again, come here. And then suddenly I was in the video and I got a chicken pick in my hand and tried that for 30 seconds and I was like, wow, this is cool. And yeah, they gave me a var variety pack and I promised that I will make them a video as a thank you because these things aren't cheap apparently. I haven't checked the prices, you can find the price here. All right, let's see what we have. Uh, these have numbers 2.7. 2.6, 2.2, okay, 2.1. So I'm going to kind of organize them by shape and the size. Uh, 2.7 again, but this is more rounded than that one. Uh, 2.0, that looks like a jazz three to me. 2.5, another, what, 3.5, interesting. And then there's a Two times 2.1 apparently. Yep, so it seems. So, yeah. This is 2.6, 2.2. All right, I don't know. Let's just get started. Uh, I don't know if there's a huge difference in the tone. Let's see. Uh, Telly, Rev Dynamis. And I'm playing my pick. Interesting. The first thing I'm noticing is that, yeah, I don't need to use as much strength to at attack the string, which is interesting. Uh, just feels there's a. I don't know if this microphone will pick it up. This sounds much darker and kind of dull compared to this. Okay, I'm liking it already. And I'm back because my camera decided to run out of battery, switching to a new one. Uh, yeah, liking this already, but this shape, it's too small for me. So that goes maybe to a no, not for, not my thing pile. Uh, basically the same shape, but a bigger one, or sorry, not 
bigger one. It's actually a thinner one. No? It's the same size, but it's 2.0. So I'm actually going to skip that. I want something a bit bigger. So let's go for this shape and 2.1. Ah, now I notice these two are the same and these two are the same. So 2.7, 2.1, 2.1 and 2.7 of that shape. Okay, this one. I like this, but 2.1 is too thick for me, so probably this one will be too... yeah. Yeah, like this, but the shape isn't for me. 3.5 is probably... Okay, now we're getting the shape wise. 3.5 is crazy thick. This would take time to get used to. I like the sound. I don't know whether these will last longer than a regular pick. Um, they claim so, but I like the sound. Cat pick. Cat pick feels like I'm putting on, on a handbrake at half, like or like driving a car when your handbrake is kind of half on <laughs> after these yep good sound wrong shape triangular ones 2.7 Nice, might be my favorite so far. 2.1, the same pick. Okay, 2.1, the triangular one is my favorite so far. Let's go for 2.6. I'm leaving this as a last because I have a suspicion or hunch or something like that that it might be my favorite. We'll see. 2.6, 2.6. If you're wondering what on earth am I playing, this is one of the alternate picking warm-ups I do. Uh, I kind of want to get better at alternate picking, so I've been doing this a lot. Plus, it's a good exercise. As you can hear, I still have plenty of work to do. Okay. My favorite so far. Sorry, triangle 2.1, but you're out of the game. 2.2, let's see.
Okay, I'm noticing that I need a little bit of time to get used to this because uh, my hand wants to attack the strings with much more strength than I need to because I'm used to the cat pick and it's kind of fighting back a little bit. doesn't belong there. Yep, this is definitely the winner. Maybe it has to do something with the fact that it's shaped like the cat pick pick. By the way, please notice the beautiful slight offset <laughs> <laughs> on this pick. Uh, I got a batch of 200 of the picks and I think they sent like 230 or something with a nice note saying that not all of them might be perfectly scented <laughs> so we put on put in some extra so thanks Steve Clayton picks I think was the place I ordered them from. Yeah, <laughs> Weird to insert another company's pick commercial into this but yeah I'm really impressed by these chicken pigs. I was about to say cat pigs. <laughs> Basically, insert an animal and pigs. We have cat pigs, chicken pigs. Who would win, cat pigs or chickens? Uh, I think in this case, chickens win uh, in the sense of like, yeah, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I think I'm going to give this pig a go. So yeah, the regular shaped one or like a traditional pig shaped one, 2.2 and see a, whether it will last me longer than a regular pick because they do claim that these will last you much longer like the edges don't chip off or anything like that and b whether my hand gets used to them so really interested about this thanks to the lovely people from chicken picks for just handing a random guy a pack of your picks uh, i really like them i will try them out properly and see whether I'll become a chicken pick player. I just want to see whether I get used to this, but the initial impression is really good. So well done, cool product. Uh, links below to chicken picks or where you can get them below in the description. And if you found this video interesting, helpful, entertaining, anything like that, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, ask any questions you might have. If you want to support what I do, get yourself a Cat Pick Studios t-shirt, links below to my Teespring store in the description. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. Should be it. I'm, this is fourth or fifth video I'm shooting today, so I might be losing it already a little bit. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. I shall see you next time.